That massive racial wealth divide that we have today dates back to when most middle class Americans' wealth began, which was in the New Deal era. Coming out of the Depression, the progressive FDR government said, we want to commit to affordable housing and mass home ownership. And they created this massive system, this system of public subsidy. And they based it on the never substantiated assumption that black people would be too much of a credit risk. And so they commissioned maps of the entire country's largest cities and surveyed them down to the block level for their racial and ethnic character and said, if there was a high Negro concentration, we're going to circle that with a red line and say, banks do not lend here. And that really only ended in the 1970s. And it was quickly replaced by what people call reverse redlining, which is when those contiguous communities of lower wealth black communities were targeted with those high cost loans.